Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory, and welcome to part 3 of my campaign as Ivar the Boneless in Crusader Kings 3. So, our start has been, well, it's been successful, fairly inauspicious, it's not been that difficult, taking uh, East Anglia and um, Lothian and Lanarkshire in here. We did start off with a lot more, well, we started off with a lot more troops than uh, Petty King of Northumbria had. And he was at war with us and our brother, uh, Errol Halfdan, or Jarl Halfdan. Likes me well enough. I was thinking about um, trying to improve his opinion. Don't really feel it's necessary right now, though. Uh, what I could check out. Vassals. Sort by opinion of me. There we go. Wait, that's not sorted by opinion of me. Plus 92, plus 100, plus 100, plus 100, minus 3. I seem to remember that from earlier. It's Crusader Kings, though. It didn't always seem to work well. But who's this person here? Chieftain Bjorn. A vassal and champion. You hold the man, right? Okay, so you're a pre existing council member and vassal. No, he's not a council member. Not good enough. Uh, I could sway his opinion. I'm not working on any other schemes at the moment. And I don't think there's anyone else uh, that I really need to sway their opinion. Well, my marshal doesn't like me much at all, for some reason. Cultural acceptance, minus 25. Oh, I suppose you're somebody that I've brought in. Yeah, that explains it. You're a champion that I recruited and made my marshal. Uh, for some reason, I hadn't anticipated you being Catholic and Gaelic. Never mind. Okay, well... Yeah, probably better that I sway him for now. Let's go back, check others. Um, is that courtiers? Who was it? Who? <laughs> right, please help by sorting in some sort of order. No, is that entirely beyond you? That looks a bit better. There we go. Um, We've got a prisoner, and we've got this guy. So let's try and sway him. 95%. So hopefully it won't take too long. We'll get a positive opinion from him. Anyway, that's all the housekeeping. We've got some notes up here to deal with. Yeah, well, you're not really suitable for anything. I could. Why did I not have you in here before? Yeah, okay. Let's put you in there. The other guy was only a champion, so it doesn't matter too much about his opinion. You can declare lots of wars, um, all for uh, various counties and things because of well, my nature essentially can create some titles but I'm not doing that just now can negotiate alliances okay half done you would accept let's just go for Oliver Brothers, why not? Ah, uh, you wouldn't. Because you're already considering a proposal. Sneak in the eye. You're the one I was after. And... May as well get alliances with my boys. What age are you now? Twelve. Hmm. 
Regnar Northumberland. I guess you're someone that my brother put into power. And again, okay, get all these alliances done out of the way. I dealt with this before, we nominated, um, yeah, this high chieftain of Ed, or high chieftain Ed of Eilich. A few champions, we can't do anything about that right now. Could modify contracts. I don't think I really want to use a hook for that at this point in time. So we can forget about all that now. Yes, yeah, so we've got six out of eight champions. Um, 877 yet yeah, before we can do that again. Okay, now all the housekeeping is out of the way. And today's business is going to be an attack on King Constantin of Alba. And I think we're just about, well, we, just, we can't just go ahead because he's only got 500 troops. Uh, he's being raided, he's got no alliances, so, and he's lost Albany already. You'll be next on the agenda. For now though, let's go ahead and we're going to subjugate King Cosantin. Cost is 500 prestige, but that's okay. Do that. And we'll raise the troops here. Just on men at arms, I think, to start with. Gives us 706. Uh, oh, yeah, that was from before. Uh, marrying off one of my sons to one of my uh, grand nieces, I think. If I remember correctly. Uh, we're going to need more troops than that. Good stuff. So let's um, can see how many troops we get from each of these areas. I want to click on this under here. Thank you. Raise the local army then. Another alliance. Another. It's going to happen for a while. One, two, three, done. Right, and this massive army here, can we split that off? Let's just take our special troops, I suppose. So, uh, let's disband you. You get on the march. Right, he's heading out to sea, so we'll go and take his capital straight away. Uh, okay, let's accept that. It means nothing to me right now. I might go and help out at some point. Where else could we go and uh, siege down? We paused, I wonder why we weren't moving. Split you in half, send one half there, and the other to Dingwall. Yeah, that'll do. In fact, you could just stay here. Go there now. You went to Dingwall. And see how quickly we get this done. Why can you not go to... Oh, uh, are you now leaving trips located in Sutherland? Expect King Cosantin... Oh no, he's come down to Lothian. I thought he'd have come over here. That's fine. You besiege that down. Uh, I could raise local troops. No, I couldn't. Yeah, they're sitting in the rally point. So we'll just leave that. Let's speed things up a bit. This other war 
uh, taking place over here. So we could sail over there and help them later. Perhaps we will. Well, we've lost a lot of troops there. I guess it's the winter. And we have our claim on Linlithgowshire. 69 gold. See it done. Uh, you've joined that other war. That's good. We have another daughter. He's a... Right. Nice. Let's get these sieges over with. And again, we might capture the king if we're lucky. He managed to take down... Oh, and I missed that note. He managed to take down uh, Edinburgh quicker than we were able to take down his holdings. He's a bit smart. There we go. I uh, took his son hostage. Uh, so we're at 83% just now. We've got another siege going down there. I don't think that will be enough to put us over the edge though. Well, we've got another two, actually. 96% uh, and right stop sending me messages you're paused uh, when that siege alliance expired Hofdan has died yeah same thing Errol Ragnar ah yeah okay all these alliances down in Northumbria uh, expired because of a change of leader. We're going to have to come down and take Northumbria again. Well, not again. It wasn't ours to start with, but there's an opportunity there. And... Uh, you... You can stand down. Don't need you. I could have gone up to take Keith Ness, but... Uh, an impressed claim on Athlone. Good. A war is determined by its battles, but battles are determined by their preparations. Being caught without a plan or direction is a good way to lose. So I can gain logistician. Well, it's going to have to be a military engineer, I think. Forder. No, let's take... We can get that through other means. I think this would make, be more useful in the shorter term. So we'll go for that. Military engineer. And Inverness is almost seized down. There we go. And it didn't make a difference. Not capped out, are we? Occupying counties, sixty-three percent. All right, it's going to last a wee bit longer than I'd anticipated. Uh, where else could we go? Nowhere. Well, Keith Ness, do I want to head up there? I don't think I do. Let's have you head down into the hills here. I think this guy's heading for Lanarkshire. Maybe not. Well, he's coming up. Ah. Head into Athol. See if we can be the defender in there. He's got better quality troops, obviously. He's got his household. So we'll just keep shepherding him away from our territory. Until this siege is done. And then either it's complete or we link up our two armies. New perk available. Um, now, I was going to take that, but I can't actually make use of it. Uh, we're two nights short at the moment, so I can call for more champions. And then in 10 years, we'd want to use that again. So I think we're going to come across for the strategist line. Yeah, we're going to head down here, so we'll take Bellum Justum. Uh, that'll be 
be good enough for the moment. And don't head into Mori, stay in the hills. No, I actually do head into Mori. Yeah, I didn't think he would come any further. Well, head over to Inverness. I think he was trying to get up round to his capital. But, too little too late, my friend. Force of demands. And I've got the Kingdom of Alba. As king, you have new duties and responsibilities. You will now be expected to regularly hold court, solving the disputes of the realm and letting your courtiers take part in your daily routines. Chief Bjorn of the Mon is looking sternly at me in a direct, almost lecturing way. Perhaps there is also some surprise in his eyes. He starts to unfold a beautiful banner bearing the emblem of House Eärving, or Ivaring. One of the ways in which the world will now judge your rule is by how you adorn and care for your royal court. You have taken the liberty to have this made as a gift to make, mark the beginning of your royal tenure. Okay, let's have a look at our court. It's a bit sparse. Uh, court artifacts. We have six court artifacts. Interesting. We've got the Stone of Scone. Scone. Um, okay, let's position this above our heads. That gives plus two court to grandeur bonus. Okay. Uh, the Chichachtach Dynasty banner. That can go in the corner. Don't know who that is. That's probably Clasantin's banner. Skull of John, this St. John the Evangelist. Okay. The stone, go there, and hang on, this here, store that because I want my banner there, we'll have our old family banner above the fireplace. And we have this that we can't display anywhere. Can't put it over the windows, can't stick it on the floor, so forget that. Sigurdar, yeah, we'll keep that because it is, as I said, our dynasty, our family banner. Right, that's good enough. And court grandeur. Tribal court. Uh, need effectiveness. Okay, so this is the first time I've looked at this sort of thing. Um, we get some extra prowess and different bonuses in here. As time goes on. Court language. Uh, we're going to keep his Norse. Because why not? And I've now lost my court. Where is my royal court? How do I get back into that? Uh, claimants. Da da da. Kind of Scotland. Put inventory. Lifestyle. Have you killed? I've killed people. Oh, yes. I did. Uh, Blood Eagle. I thought that meant. Are killed in battle. I'm distracting myself. I have lost my royal court and do not know where to find it. From Dynasty Tree, no. So that's our inventory, that's our chivalry focus, that's stress, that's our house. Religion and not right. Ah, is this it? This looks new. Yes. Okay. And uh, now that I'm here, 
can't remember why. Yeah, I was looking at grandeur. I guess we are at 25 at the moment. Grandeur level 3. Oh no, we're at grandeur level 3, so this is where we... This is where we are. Baseline, so it's heading down. Right, okay. Um, we could boost some of these things. We'll make a wee bit of cash at the moment. Um, don't really care much about fashion. Let's get some better food for now. A few servants, what else? Minute lodgings, or small lodgings. I don't want to spend too much. Let's do that. What is food and small lodgings? We're ranked 22nd in the world. And there was something else. Hold court. Oh, I think I know what hold court is. Yes, so I must solve people's problems. It increases court grandeur. And we might get some bonuses or some opportunities from it. So let's Go ahead, spend some of our prestige, and listen to people's moans. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall. A stream of people file in, some lining up in front of my throne, while others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceedings. After several moments, all movement in the chamber has ceased. All faces turn towards mine expectantly. In front of me, I count three petitioners lined up in an orderly row, waiting for me to call on them. Come forth, good sir. The peasant in front of me seems about to explode with excitement. My lord, the miracles, the holiness, we have been blessed! His enthusiastic ramblings are confusing, but I finally get the gist of it. He wants me to sponsor the cult of a local saint who has recently died in Keith. Daniel was a miracle maker in life, known for chasing away Satan with a whip and preaching to the birds. His tomb is attracting devoted visitors from all over the realm. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, where's the downside in this? I don't see anything. Again, I could gain dread at the cost of all that. I can reduce control. This doesn't seem to have any downside at all. His Holiness Daniel will get the veneration he deserves. That will probably come back and bite me in some way. Uh, my vassal, High Chieftain Ayed, approaches the throne with a young man in tow. My liege and king, he spouts. My acquaintance, Gunnar Sir, seeks the honour of serving in your retinue of champions. Give him the opportunity to prove his quality. The man knows his way around a sword and will not let you down when it counts. Okay, I could do with another champion. Fourteen... Um, Forder and Skill Tactician, 19 Marshall. Okay. I uh, could make him a bodyguard. Actually, I should maybe go and look at that. Uh, you might get to be a bodyguard later. But, yes, you may attend me. He gained 75 prestige and 20 opinion. As soon as it is... As, excuse me. As soon as it is his turn to speak, the agitated man in front of me screams, The end is nigh! The signs are clear and everywhere. The people of Earldom of Dunbar know it all too well. Disorders, bandits, thieves, violence, and the disappearance of justice among men. Ragnarok is upon us. There is only one way for us to be saved. Burn all the infidels. Repent now, for the end is nigh. Okay. Do I want to reduce development in Dunbar by five? Uh, this guy could become my chaplain. I don't think I really want him to be my chaplain. I could burn him. Yeah, rather than lose development, uh, take the hundred piety on offer here. 
and we'll burn the person. Nonsense. Burn this raving heretic. As the last petitioner departs, various courtiers follow them out of the room, having business to attend elsewhere. Others remain, talking amongst themselves about the recent proceedings. Soon the ceremonial formality of the proceedings has dropped away entirely, with the hum and bustle of normal courtly life taking its place. My business here is done. Okay, fun times at court. Now we can get back to the daily grind. We can disband our armies. So I guess our kingdom is going to be Scotland. Fair enough, you're marching, you'll disband eventually. Um, no, uh, sorry, you just uh, continue with your march and then we'll disband. I wanted to check here, we can't declare war while our armies are raised, of course not. Let's carry on. Uh, we have a new champion in there. What? 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 Oh! Is that succession? Because that's now the Kingdom of Scotland, which belongs to me. Right. Yeah. I thought my, my player here, my son, had died. Stand down. Uh, let's check this now. Declare war. Um, I'd rather conquer the duchy. Do we need illustrious? So we're a long ways from that. Oh, we can now raise. I saw nine thousand troops here. Seven thousand here, plus these guys. And in addition, we have alliances with lots of folks. So yeah, my son's still there. Let's. Go back to this. Tanistry elective. Hmm. I suppose I may as well just nominate my son and see who rallies to his banner. Yeah, let's do that. My son, Vassal and Ward, that's the right one. Cast our vote there. Oh, my mother died of old age. What a pity. Neighbours can be vassalised. How much does it cost me? I uh, will not accept at the moment. Uh, that's not what I was after, I was after this. Could you see if you can find any secrets for me in Gowrie? Please, thank you, Holmfrieder. You will not accept either, but must bear that in mind. You can transfer Mormer Cosantin of Sutherland to High Chieftain Ida of Mori. I don't think I need to do that. I'm not over a vassal limit, I don't think. And we've got new claims also. Oh yeah, I've flown. Yeah, these are the ones that I fabricated those two and got this one for free. Okay, so I'm not going to transfer anybody just now. Powerful vassals expect council positions. Cosantin. Well, you're not very good at very much. Stewardship is 10. Who else do we have? You're not very good at very much either, I Chief Ed. Hmm. Now, I could make your steward. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do that. How many troops do you guys have? Yeah, okay. So, 
You are just one of the champions, so we'll have you switch over. Uh, yeah, well, let's go share it with the man. Do that. Another two, you're just going to have to suck it up. Not declaring wars, not creating titles, negotiate alliances. Um, these are the. Um, my sons. You're in line to inherit titles all across in Scandinavia. I can lawfully imprison. Uh, this guy. High Chief and Ayad Steward. Okay, I might do that later. Not modifying contracts. Uh, we're still in this war, I just remembered. Perhaps I should go and help out. Let's set yet another rally point down in here. Somewhere. That'll do there. Uh, this one here we can remove. And this one here. I think we'll move that one. Do I need it up there? Let's put it there anyway. Gives us a couple of rally points over in the east coast. Yeah, we'll stick with that. All right. Okay, well, I'm going to put in a break. And when we come back in the next part, we will raise up some troops and we'll send them across the seas and help out in this war over here. But for now, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.